Is it a vacuum? Is it a broom? It's a vabroom. When I first heard of the vabroom, I was really, really interested in its simple but interesting concept. It has a regular broom form factor, but it couples it with a 20,000 RPM motor and a suction tube. So effectively, you don't ever have to use a dustpan again. This is really interesting for me personally because I don't really like asking for help and I don't like bending down to pick up the dustpan. So I ordered the Vabroom and this has been my experience. The Vabroom has built-in rechargeable lithium ion batteries. It's easy to charge using the supplied cable. The micro USB port is cleverly hidden away here. Once plugged, the light goes red to indicate charging. It typically takes three hours to recharge fully and the battery lasts a long time in my usage, at least a week. Now let's talk about the highlight, the claim to fame, the suction on this thing. It's got a 20,000 RPM motor and it's activated by putting pressure on this tube. It's pretty easy and it instantly turns your broom into a vacuum. Here's what it looks like in use. The problem I faced is in activating the suction, which isn't a very wheelchair friendly exercise. I have poor core control and found that I had to hold it awkwardly with both hands so as to apply the necessary pressure. I was eventually able to adjust my technique, but I wish it were easier or if there was a button perhaps to facilitate one handed use. The Vabroom's debris compartment can hold about a cup of vacuum debris, which is plenty for spot sweeping in smaller rooms. It's pretty easy to empty. You hold it over a garbage bin and press the lever to eject the contents straight into the garbage, totally eliminating the need for a dustpan. The bristles are sturdy and get the job done. They're similar to the kind you can get from a $10 broom, but the width of the sweeping area of the broom is a couple of inches less than a regular broom due to the fact that it needs to make space for that vacuum suction tube. With all that said, the broom works well. The suction works as advertised and you'll have a much better time if you're aware of its limitations. So let's talk about the pros and the cons. Convenience. The Vabroom can effectively replace a dustpan, which is a really big point in its marketing. And for someone like myself who doesn't like to bend over, this is a really big plus. And if you're aware of its limitations, this works as advertised. Battery life. Battery charges pretty fast in under three hours. And in my experience and usage, it lasts well over a week, which is a lot. Form factor. It's pretty lightweight and it has the same dimensions as a regular broom. And this is pretty impressive once you consider what it packs in between the bristles and all the suction that it provides. Performance. I've tested the Vabroom along floorboards, bathroom tiles, hardwood floors, and it glides through everything. The debris compartment is pretty small. I feel like it could hold more. And more so, the O-rings that seal it aren't very good. They fall apart pretty quickly and they're hard to replace. I've contacted customer service and it's a little slow to hear back from them, so I'm not really impressed. You could still use it, but it doesn't seal as properly. Suction activation. It's an excellent feature for everybody, especially certain people with disabilities that could make use of not having to bend down to reach the dustpan like myself. However, the problem I've found with the suction activation is that you need a lot of core control and strength to activate it. And unfortunately, that eliminates a certain segment of the population. This is an odd criticism, but the Vabroom is a very bottom heavy and so it's hard to have it standing upright. You have to lean it against something. So would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend it so long as you're aware of its limitations. My time with the Vabroom has been great, but it's not been exactly as I expected. It's not for big rooms or living rooms, it's more for spot cleaning. I use it in my bedroom, a smaller room, because it thrives in that environment. Or you could use it as a secondary broom because you, it's easier to broom with a regular broom and then use the suction on the broom, at least for me. Um, other than that, I recommend you keep in mind the suction activation, the debris compartment, and the fact that it's bottom heavy. And so long as you're aware of these, I would recommend that you try it out because it's an interesting device and it could help you save you some time bending over.